my friends, how are you all today? I hope you're having a wonderful day and you're ready to hear our story for today. Our story today is called The Mitten. This is a story that's adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. That means this is a story that she didn't make up herself. It's a story that's been around a really long time. And you may have heard this story before. It's called The Mitten, and it's very similar to another story we read a couple weeks ago. So let's see if you can pick out some similarities of another story that we read. Let's read it together. The Mitten. Look at all those animals on the cover. What are they looking at? I see a mitten, I bet. This story, the mitten, is about this mitten. Let's find out. Once, there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. See, the snow is white. Look at all that snow. He must live somewhere that's very cold. Hmm, I see some pictures on the sides of our story. Look, do you see those pictures here? These pictures can help us predict what's going to come next. So pay close attention and maybe you can guess what will happen next in the story. Look here, what is she holding? I see some white yarn. What do you think is going to happen? Hmm. At first, his grandmother Baba did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens. And finally, Baba made them. So he calls his grandmother Baba. What do you call your grandmother? Do you call her grandma or Nana or Mimi? Or maybe you call your grandmother Baba. There's all different kinds of names. And she is making him some nice mittens. Hmm. Look at the pictures on the sides. Are they giving us a hint for anything? Let's find out. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Oh no, if you look really close, look here. Nikki had the mittens stuffed in his belt and one fell down into the snow. Oh no, that's what his Baba said was going to happen, isn't it? Oh no. Do you think he's gonna find them? Let's see if he can find that mitten. I hope he doesn't leave it behind. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Go get really close so you can see the mole. Do you see it down there? Look, here he came. He was tunneling underground. I have moles in my yard. They tunnel under the yard and they push the dirt up. Look, he came out and he found a nice warm mitten and he got inside and he said he was gonna stay because it was cozy and warm. Mm, do you like to be cozy and warm? I sure do. I like to snuggle up in a blanket. Well, the mole was snuggling up in the mitten. Mm, 
look at our the sides of our picture. Can you predict or guess what's going to happen next? Hmm. I wonder. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. He saw those the big feet on the rabbit and moved right over so he could get in. <gasps> What's happening to the mitten? Is it getting bigger or smaller? Yeah, it's getting bigger. It's stretching and getting bigger. Pay attention to those pictures on the side. Hmm. Next, do you know what animal this is? That's a hedgehog. A hedgehog hog came sniffing along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered in prickles, they made room. Wow, now there's three animals in there. There first was a mole, and then there was a rabbit, and now there's a hedgehog. Three animals are in that mitten, wow. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. That means they were kind of like, ugh. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, that's his sharp nails on his feet, they quickly let him in. Now the owl is going to get in there. Is he going to fit in there? Look how big the mitten is getting. It's stretching. And look, you can even see the hedgehog spikes coming out. But the owl is going to get in too. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased, which means they weren't happy. There was no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. They saw his diggers, his sharp claws, his feet, and they're gonna give him the little thumb hole. That seems like a big badger to fit in that thumb hole. Hmm. <gasps> What's happening now? It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. That means he was made him sleepy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Ooh, I think they were kind of scared. They saw his sharp teeth, so they let him in. Are you paying close attention to the picture still? What do you think might happen next? The fox is getting in the mitten now. What's going to happen next? A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal could argue with a bear? 
the mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast, which means it didn't break, it just stretched and stretched. Did you guess that a bear would get in the mitten next? Let's look. Did you look at the picture here and see a bear and guess? Oh, I think a bear is gonna get in the mitten next. If you guessed that, you were right, weren't you? Good guessing, great prediction. What do you think's going to happen next? Hmm. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into one space left and made herself comfortable on the top of the great bear's nose. Oh my goodness. Look at the bear looking at it. <laughs> Uh-oh. What is Nikki noticing? Do you think he noticed he's missing a mitten? He still had one. Do you think he's noticed he's lost the other? The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Oh my gosh, look, he sneezed and they all went flying out of the mitten. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. Look, the mitten's falling down. Remember the bear sneezed, look, all the animals are falling and the mittens falling down. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. Remember she said that was what she would check for first she would make sure he was safe and sound, and then she would check to see if he had his mittens. She thought he would lose his mittens, didn't she? Was she right? Did he drop a mitten and lose it? He did, but then he found it again. Oh my goodness, look at this picture. <laughs> How do you think Baba is feeling? She's looking at the two mittens. Which mitten do you think the animals were in? The big mitten or the small mitten? That's right, the big mitten, the one that got all stretched. Got all stretched out from all those animals in it. Have you ever put something on that was maybe too small and you stretched it out and then it stayed big? happen sometimes. I think Baba might be feeling a little confused. I wonder if she's wonder wondering what happened to that mitten. Hmm. I hope you really enjoyed our story today. You will find in your bag a couple pages that look like this. What do you see? What's this? That's a really big mitten. And you can use your scissors and you can cut out the mitten. And then you can color the different animals from our story and color those and cut those out. And then you can retell the story with your mitten and the animals. You could even watch the story again and follow along with your pieces. I hope you have a wonderful day and I wish you well.